a lot of people are having low fps in fortnite after this new update and now i'm gonna show you how you can make your fps double with your any low end pc and this video includes some important registry settings for your pc and also a tool which you can use on your pc so make sure to watch my this whole video and with wasting any time let's dive straight into our this video so guys in the first step we are going to do the registry tick so for that you need to go for your windows search and search for registry editor once you open up the registry editor, now you need to follow the same exact path which I'm gonna show you. So in the first step, you need to disable the fast startup and how you can do it. You need to go for the HK local machine, then go straight for the system tab, then go for the current control set and there you will find out this control. Click on this drop down, scroll down and there you will find out the session manager. Again, click on this drop down. Now go for this power tab and there you need to find out hybrid boot enabled. You need to right click here, go for the modify and change this value data from 0 to 1 now click on this ok button for the second registry changes now we are going to prioritize our fortnite for the best performance and now how you can do it you need to go for the again into the hk local machine then open up the software tab and there you need to find out microsoft so press m from your keyboard or find out the microsoft click on this drop down now go for the windows nt for that press w from your keyboard Go for Windows NT, go for the current version. Now press M from your keyboard and find out multimedia from this list. Go for the system profile, go for task, then click on this games tab. Once you open up the games tab into this location, now you need to go for these three options. First one is the GP priority, right click here, go for the modify and change this value data onto the eighth. Now click OK, go for the priority, go for the modify and change this value data onto the sixth. Then click OK, now go for the scheduling category, right click here, go for the modify and change this value data onto the high after that click on the ok button and close out this window so guys now in the next step you need to download this tool on your pc which is the quick boost and you can download it from the description link down there of my this video so now open up the link from the description and that will take you to my this website once you are here so there you will find out the same exact article with the same thumbnail of my youtube video you are watching right now so open up that article scroll all the way down click on the download button and download this tool on your pc once you download now double tap here Simply read this instruction and click on the OK button. It will ask me you to create a register point on your PC before using this application. So first here into this journal tab, you need to guys go for the enable, exclusive, full screen and disable Xbox game bar. Click on this option and this will do everything for you with just simply one click. Now click OK, go for the disable power saving. Click OK, now go for the import the quick boost power plan if you are not using the power control on your PC. So then I suggest you to use the quick boost power plan on your PC or you can watch the video on my channel how to create the best power plan on your PC. Link also in the description. So guys, once you do this, now go for the uh, next option which is the disable uh, the startup telemetry. Click on this option and this will disable the uh, telemetry. Now go for the apply system profile fix. Go for the disable mouse acceleration and enable autocomplete one dialog. Click OK. Now go for the disable unnecessary system services. And this will disable all of the unnecessary services from your PC. Now click OK. Go for the disable startup uh, programs manually. Click on this option. This will open up this uh, startup menu. You can simply disable all of the unused application from your pc one by one right click here go for the disable button and disable that application i have already did it and uh, once you're done now go for the remove pre-install app click on option and this will start uninstalling all these uh, pre-installed app from your pc so once you're done now click on this ok button and close out this program and now just one time register your pc therefore all the changes will take effect so i hope so you love it so please make sure to drop a like on this video turn on the bell notification and till the next video peace out